OT Equator Biologic Attachment Dental Studio Immediate Loading Implantology applicable to all types of implants on the market. There are several techniques in immediate loading implantology to rehabilitate the patient after surgery with a fixed prosthesis after the session. The OT Equator method proposes a technique that, once surgery is finished and the patient has rested for about two hours, allows the dental technician using titanium attachments with through holes to build a passive, precise, functional, aesthetic and robust thread reinforced resin fixed bridge. The time ranges from about one to two hours and is applied to the patient after the session, completing the intervention in five or six hours at most. To perform these surgeries, the surgeon must have at their disposal a series of OT equator biologic attachments compatible with the implants used. There is an autoclavable kit 42 available with an assortment of OT equator biologic attachments in various heights from 0.5 millimeters to 7 millimeters. Dental Studio. First session, planning and taking impressions. We see that the patient is already wearing an old temporary fixed prosthesis. The bridge is removed and the vertical and centric dimensions are taken using wax. Two impressions are taken with a common alginate. Dental Laboratory Models in the articulator. A temporary half-finished bridge is built, complete with a palatal plaque in self-curing resin. Dental Surgery Second Session Surgery and a temporary thread reinforced resin fixed bridge. The temporary bridge is tested before surgery. It takes its position on the attachments and adheres to the palate. Articulation is tested. To find the centric vertical articulation you should regularize the occlusal plane by smoothing it down with a burr. The nephologic data impression is locked in the patient's mouth with a self-curing resin key. It is advisable to lubricate the antagonist teeth with Vaseline beforehand. Once the resin has hardened, you can remove the temporary prosthesis from the mouth. The provisional prosthesis is shelled and expanded as much as possible in the palatal part. At the end of surgery, after the insertion of the implants, the temporary prosthesis can be used as a personal impression holder. In the surgical phase, any preferred type or brand of implants can be used. These require an assortment of OT equator biologic attachments of the correct height and measurement supplied upon order. Once the remaining teeth are extracted, the internal hexagon implants are inserted. To insert the implants correctly, a simple indicative resin template can be used, built in the laboratory following the line of the temporary bridge. Remember how many newtons are used during the insertion of the implants into the bone, a minimum of 35 to 40 newtons. OT equator biologic attachments are then screwed onto the head of the implants, choosing those of a suitable height to pass over the soft tissues. Screwing the attachment by hand develops a force of around 15 newtons, much less than the newtons used for the insertion of the implant. Once the attachment has been screwed in, unscrew it and then screw it in again tightly. Carefully repeating this operation two or three times, you will notice that the attachment becomes locked and difficult to screw. This way you arrive at the right kind of fit between the male and female threads of the screw. 
The operator, knowing how many newtons they have previously used to insert the implant in the bone, manages to screw the attachment without causing any trauma by using the sensibility of their hand. It's always a good idea to use this method of screwing for every type of implant, both in the case of the immediate loading implants as well as in the surgical uncovering of already osseointegrated implants. Snap-off mini transfers are inserted above the OT equator biologic attachments in order to detect the impression by using the correct blue inserter. The shell temporary prosthesis is then tested. If you notice any interference between the temporary prosthesis and the mini transfers, you can expand the resin without having to use the control paste. If a tooth is blemished, it can be repaired without any difficulty. Taking the impression with elastomer material, check that the plate's position and the closure are perfectly in line with the antagonist. This step is important to recover the centric relation and regain the exact occlusion. Remove the implant and the plastic mini transfers from the mouth and move them to the laboratory. The patient remains at rest with an ice pack while they wait for the finished bridge. Dental Laboratory Construction of the temporary thread reinforced resin bridge. First insert the analog stainless steel OT equator inside the mini transfer. Then insert the transfer into the impression and fix it firmly in place. A very sure way to fix the transfer to the impression is by using glue. Carefully using a spatula, pour the model with fast setting plaster without shaking it. Let it harden and prepare some more plaster to make the base. Make a silicon mask. Have ready some titanium through-hole cylindrical abutments of a suitable height from 1.5 to 3 mm with the Seegers inserted and orthodontic wire of a diameter of 0.8 mm. Heat the wire and insert it into the holes of the abutments as if you are threading pearls. Bend the wire at both ends to prevent the cylindrical abutments from unthreading during the work. Place the first cylindrical abutment with the Seeger inserted on the distal analog and secure it with the screw. At the same time, bend the two wires in the direction of the proximal attachment and insert the cylindrical abutment on the analog beneath by locking it with the screw. Since the wire is heated, the operation is simple. Proceed in the same way, one cylindrical abutment at a time, until you fit and screw all of them. You may need to substitute the long screws with short screws. Smoothing, lowering and adapting the titanium cylindrical abutments. Should you need to further strengthen the reinforcement, you can add one or two full threads along the arch. Mask the threaded framework with paint. Extend the through holes of the screws with wax pins. Recover and adapt only the veneers of the temporary prosthesis. Eliminating the palatal plate, putting them in place on the mask, pouring slowly and compressing the self-curing resin and cooking it in a hydro flask. Finish, polish and deliver the finished thread reinforced resin bridge. Laboratory. Titanium cylindrical abutments with through holes without an extra grade indented rim. 
Since it isn't possible to build the position of the extra great indented rim beforehand in the titanium cylindrical abutments with through holes, if needed, the dental technician can manually create it during the work or with the bridge finished. You can smooth the internal perimeter of the cylindrical abutment carefully using a burr and create the extra grade indented rim in the direction of the divergence and facilitate the insertion of the bridge in case of any divergence of the fixture. Dental practice. After about two hours, the bridge is secured in the patient's mouth and locked above the OT equator biologic attachments. This step should be carried out carefully as the effect of the anesthesia would have worn off in the meantime. After eight days without removing the bridge, the sutures are removed and the temporary prosthesis is checked. Immediate loading surgery, six months later. Osseo-integrated implants. Final prosthesis construction. Construction and application of the final bridge. During the time of about six months spent waiting for the osseo-integration of the implants with the temporary prosthesis in the patient's mouth, The laboratory analyzes the divergences between the implants using the same model that was created from the post-surgical impression. In implantology, the divergence of the implants often creates contrasting problems with the Seeger bridge technique. The divergence of the implants are exploited and used to give stability to the bridge. Based on this analysis, you can decide how to design the final bridge and exploit the advantage of the divergence of the OT equator biologic vestibular attachments that have the same angle as the fixture. The connection of the bridge and its stability in the incisor implants will be obtained with the retention of only the Seeger springs and without the support of screws. Building the temporary bridge these divergences create problems when screwing, so that you would have to enlarge the holes in the incisor area, making the resin edges weak and unsightly. The new project on the anterior abutments uses rimmed titanium cylindrical abutments without through holes for the screws and with a castable housing with only the Seegers without screws. The titanium cylindrical abutments will be glued to the casted bridge in the patient's mouth during the test. These abutments are mounted onto the attachments and secured with only the Seegers without the screws, thanks to the divergences which will yield a position, an interlock, a secure retention and the maximum passivation. The titanium cylindrical abutments without through holes for the screws are mounted, filed down and adapted to the cleaned up previous model where the temporary bridge was built. A diagnostic wax model is remodeled, improving the aesthetics. The final bridge is shaped and casted following this line. The shaping done with wax is completed on the solid castable bridge. Castable bridge, masked bridge, the final bridge test with unpolished composite teeth. Dental practice, third session, removal of the temporary bridge and testing the final bridge. The temporary thread reinforced resin bridge is taken out after six months. The situation of the surrounding tissues is good. The implants are in good condition too. The biological adhesion of the tissues to the titanium of the attachments has prevented any infiltrations. This situation has allowed for a good healing and a good osseo integration. The titanium cylindrical abutments are mounted with only the Seegers adapted externally 
that take their position above the incisor OT equator attachments. Thanks to the very wide fused housing, the fitting of the bridge passes easily through the incisor cylindrical abutments and goes into position. With pressure on the molars, the bridge inserts itself and also snaps onto the distal implants. The patient participates in the evaluation of the aesthetics and phonetics. Check and try out the articulation. With the bridge removed, you should prepare the anaerobic cement to secure the cylindrical abutments over the attachments. The bridge and abutments are cleaned and then the anaerobic cement is spread onto the abutments in the mouth and inside the housings. The bridge should be inserted in the incisor area, holding it at an angle in the direction of the incisor attachments to insert it into place. Compressing it distally, it should snap onto the molar attachments and become stable. Tighten the two screws on the distal implants, locking the bridge in place. With the mouth closed, wait for the cement to harden. The bridge is removed and cleaned of excess cement. Adhesive is applied to the bridge, which again is inserted into the mouth. The bridge is rebased with elastomer and an impression of the healed soft tissues is taken. The laboratory takes the bridge and will deliver it once it's finished. Dental practice. Fourth session. Application of the final bridge. In the fourth and last session, the finished bridge is applied to the patient. To mount the bridge, tilt it in the direction of the incisor OT equator biologic attachments, compress it until it snaps into place, then by making the right pressure on the molars, the bridge tilts distally, clicks and locks into its natural position. The final short screws are then screwed into the molars only. The bridge is fastened securely without the need for the rear incisive screws. An excellent aesthetics is achieved with great practicality and simplicity. A small Teflon pellet should be inserted in the holes. The holes should then be closed with temporary cement while you wait to apply a final composite cement. The temporary thread reinforced bridge in its container is given to the patient for them to keep. It could be useful in the future and be used in case of emergency.